my doctor. He said, Martin, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Don't swim, you're gonna die. I'm different because I found a way. I don't feel any pain anymore. My name is Martin Strel, 62 years old, born in Slovenia, and I am a professional marathon swimmer. I have five Guinness World Records. I swam the longest rivers on the planet. I have swam the Danube, Mississippi, Paraná, Yangtze, and Amazon. Everybody said, man, you are just nuts. You are crazy. The river will take you. He was having infections in his stomach, larva infection in his brain, hallucination. He was peeling off the skin. I thought this is over for him. No one can survive this. Most people understand running a marathon. When you put this to the lever that Martin sets out to do, he says, I'm going to swim now for 60 days. That's 60 of these marathons. Some people ask me, well, how he can swim for so long? I don't know how. I still don't know how. Water kill people, usually. But not me, no me. I am like half animal, half human. <laughs> Martin is most known for being an overweight athlete. <laughs> I'm a little off, a little sick, a little crazy. His whole life was nothing defined by normal. And just doing something that most people cannot even comprehend the thought of being able to do. So, Michael Phelps, what's different between me? Michael Phelps, he is not marathon swimmer. He is much faster than I am, sure. He is very successful in the swimming pools. I'm successful in swimming the rivers. He is not ready, sure, for the Amazon because he's too skinny. When I swim, I'm losing six, seven hundred calories per hour. My body is like a Mercedes, BMW, good. Martin does not resemble an elite runner or an elite cyclist in their lean um, factor. So for Martin to be able to swim at that kind of range is really extraordinary. With Martin, I really am just baffled. When my body is in trouble, I swim. I have excellent memories on my this childhood, this beginning. But father was uh, too, too much violent many times, and uh, because fighting with me, came home. Where is Martin? He's just here. Oh, he was trying to catch me. Where to go? I jump in the water. He was uh, running around. He said, "Come back!" No, 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 no. I was under the water. Sometimes more than two minutes. Water became like a uh, part of my life, very good friend for my safety. <laughs> I wasn't so confident at the beginning, very, very afraid. I didn't sleep. My pulse was very high, even on the Amazon. Swimming in the Amazon, most people would have just difficulty staying afloat. There's no way anyone could survive two months in this river. On the Amazon was terrible moment, attacked by piranhas. In your back, you feel fire, they eat so fast. They opened my back and I called fire, my back, piranhas. It is still the longest swim in the history. He had a lot of issues. The Mississippi River, he dropped 55 pounds in two months. He was just losing so much weight. So we even worried that he must be getting sick or something. And I swam one of the most polluted rivers on the planet. Bodges, pollution, everything. I was touching by lightning was unconscious one minute. Pushed me out of the water, I was flying like a plane. We literally thought he was a dead man. This guy's called Martin died. I stop for a couple of minutes and then go, Martin. <laughs> like nothing happened, you know, we're like, I guess he's alive. <laughs> he's fearless, he's not afraid of death. He's one of the people, I'm either gonna do it or die trying. Most of the people simply don't understand how you can swim like 12 or more hours per day. When I swim, it is impossible to think about the stroke under the water. I even count this one, two, three, four, five, hundred. Then in the beginning, that was terrible. It was lots of pain swimming hours and hours in the oceans, lakes, rivers. Many times I said by myself, it's simply too hard. You have tears in eye. 
You don't know how to move this, what to do, what to do, but you have to swim. You have to finish this. It was hard to swim. And then on the Danube, it happened. I found a way. It's hard for me to explain what is meditation or hypnotization. Here is something what helps me a lot. It happened while I was swimming. My concentration is very, very deep, like meditation. And then when it's done, I don't feel any pain anymore. Can somebody explain it to me, something like that? Some physician, scientist could say, this is not possible. Sure, for him it's not possible, but it's possible for me. I think that everything is here in your brain, here. I am still strong, sure, I can swim more. I would like to swim Grand Canyon. And another target is swimming around the planet because today world is not good, we are not on the right way. I swim for peace, friendship, and clean waters especially. I am just a simple man and I can change still this world.